Hello and welcome. My name is Seshu and I am part of DVCOM support on training team. In this lab, I am going to show it to you how to block Facebook in Sign for Firewall. So if you are going to see in my previous videos, I have shown to you how to access the Sign for Firewall and how to configure the zones, how to shift the interfaces, then after that how to configure the IP addresses, then after that we have seen how to configure the DHCP, then after that we have seen how to configure the NAT, then finally we saw the policies and after that we have seen how to block certain services like ICMP and all and how to allow HTTP, HTTPS and DNS traffic. So these are the videos that I shown to you previously. But in this video, I am going to focus it on how to block Facebook. So before we are going to configure it and let's go and have a look what is my laptop policy. So in my lab, as I discussed earlier that I have configured the van and I have configured the LAN. So this is my van and this is my LAN zone. So right now, I got the IP address. Actually, I have configured in my LAN zone, which is 192.168.100.0/24, and 100.1 is my SANG for firewall. And I have enabled the DHCP here because of that. I got the IP address is 100.51. So right now, I can able to get the internet access. But what I'm trying to do now, I want to block the Facebook. Other than Facebook, I want to allow everything. So how you can do it? So before we are going to do that step, what I'm trying to do now, I just want to show whether I can able to access the Facebook or not. So open the browser and you can see here, just type www.facebook.com. There you go. I can able to access the Facebook. So right now I'm going to apply the policy. So after applying the policy, I'm going to recheck again. So log in with your firewall. Then after that, you can go to the policies, then click on the application control policy. Now you guys can see here, I have configured two policies previously. So right now what I'm trying to do, I'm going to create one more policy. So in that policy, I'm going to block everything, means the Facebook. So I'm going to clone this. So I'm going to say block Facebook. Then after that, I want to on my internet policy. That's okay for me. So I'm going to say a nice description, which is block Facebook traffic. Then after that, you guys can see here, there is a LAN to the van. So the LAN, which is my source zone and the subnet, which I configured 192.168.100.0. And for my van zone, I can say hello all. So all the services right now, I'm going to say everything is hello, any. So I'm going to say any, but in the application, I'm going to say just disable everything and say here Facebook. Now you guys can see here all your Facebook related applications, whatever is going to support the Facebook is selected. Then you can click on save. Then after that, I'm going to say deny. This is very, very important guys. So try to see again. So I'm going to say when the traffic coming from your LAN zone through this subnet, when he's trying to go to the van, it could be any IP address and it could be any service and application is Facebook and deny the traffic. Then click on save. Now you guys can see here. So this is the one traffic. Okay guys, this is the policy. The second policy, what it does is going to block the Facebook. So let's go and check it now. So now I'm going back again and type here www.facebook.com. Now you guys can see here the site cannot be reached. It's blocked. But how I know that it's blocked or not. So the first one is that you can refresh it. You can see here the hit count, which means that policy is working. Then after that, you can go here, click on the view sessions and move here. And you can see here the policy is Facebook block and these IP addresses, which is you are trying for the Facebook guys. Okay. 
so right now the facebook is blocked and what about others let's go and check it now go to www.alink.com www.sangfor.com www.astore.com see how beauty of the sangfor firewall guys because what it does these policies are going to execute one by one so first of all it's going to execute the first policy so in the first policy what you said you said that block icmp traffic so anyone if they're trying to to ping and all it's going to block then second policy is saying that block facebook so simply whenever the traffic coming for facebook then immediately it's going to block and third policy what it's trying to say it's going to allow only http https and dns that's it so this is what how you can write the policies guys and as i told you that if you want to have a more visibility just go to here top and after that you can see there is a sessions and click on the session list and from here you can able to see it okay and which policy is allowing which policy is blocking so that's the beauty of your sang for firewall guys i really like the sang for firewall because it has a complete control so you have a complete control and you just move back to the policies again i can you can review it here and you can see multiple times and it just required some basic idea about networking guys since if you are good at the basics then it's easy for you to configure the sang for firewall so to sign out you can just click on sign out just say log out then after that i just want to close all this okay let's close all this then after that say log out so it's log out successfully so as i discussed earlier guys there is a jitex which will be happening in october 14 to 18 and during the jitex period we are going to participate as a dv come that we are going to participate and uh, we are mostly we are going to focus it on sang for so in case if you want to explore more about sang for firewalls and sang for other security products and hci please visit our booth so i'll be there and i'll give you the special demonstration for you guys and uh, for sales related enquiries please send us an email sales at datawise.com for support please send us an email support at datawise.com i hope this has been informative and i would like to thank you for viewing